Welcome to another top time-saving tip for Revit architecture. I'm your host, Patrick Valella. In today's tip, I'll be showing you a quick and easy way to change the behavior for one of your Revit families. So here I have a little family that I've created for some sort of a ramp. I've created this using the generic model template. So when I load this into a project, we'll be able to see its behavior. I'll go through and I'll place this component. And it inserts just as I would expect it to. I can flip up into a 3D view and I can see what it looks like. Here's the issue. If I switch over into a south elevation, here we see the ramp. So what I want to be able to do is select the ramp and be able to rotate it so that it's at an incline. But of course, if you're experienced with Revit, you're probably already familiar with what the issue is here. If I go up to rotate, I'll pick the pivot point. I'll set a start angle for the rotation. Then I pick the finished angle. And as soon as I do that, we end up getting this little error message that says that this cannot be performed. It cannot rotate the element into this position. So this can sometimes be a little bit of an annoying problem, but it's really the way that Revit is designed to work. Because we inserted this family onto a level, it's actually constrained to that particular level. If I select the family, go up into the element properties, we see that the host is actually level one. That's something that is not able to be changed. So to be able to get around that, we could go back into the family and perhaps we could put in some different parameters that, that allowed for some sort of rotation, okay? But actually what would have been better is when we were first creating that little family, when I went into new family, instead of selecting just a generic model sort of family, I could have chosen one of these which was face-based. Face-based would allow us to then create a work plane, and I could situate the family right on to the face of the work plane. But because we've already created the family, that's really not possible. It's not possible for us to switch the behavior of one family to another just by swapping out the templates. Once you've created a family using a particular template, it's going to have that behavior. Except with this little trick I'm going to show you. So what we're going to do here is take advantage of the ability of nesting a family. So I'll go up in to create a new family. This time I'll go ahead and choose generic model, face based. Here we see the representation of the face, which is just an extrusion there. But what I'm going to do is now just switch over to the ramp family. load it into a project and I'm going to load it into this family that I just created. And we'll just position it right there on the face. Then we'll load this in to the test project. Okay, so when I'm inserting this you now see that it has the little circle with the line through it saying it doesn't want me to be able to insert it. It wants me to pick a face that it's going to be aligned with or I could pick a work plane. So the trick is let's first go ahead and create a work plane. So I'll go over into the south elevation and we'll go in and just create a work plane. Okay, so I'll go to reference plane and let's just create a reference plane like so. And just to make this easier to select, I'm going to select it and we'll give it a name. And I'll call this ramp. Go to level one. Go back into component and this time I'm going to insert that family number two, but I'll select place on work plane. For the placement plane, we'll choose the ramp plane. And we'll situate it right there. Flip up into our south elevation, and there we see the ramp positioned perfectly on to that work plane that we created. So the beauty of this is now we can actually select the work plane, and I could choose a different angle. You see that the ramp is just going to change itself to always match the angle of the work plane. 
So that's much quicker than having to redefine the family. Just simply take the family you've created, whatever sort of template you used for it, nest it into a family template that has the behavior that you're looking for, and it can really save you a lot of time. So I hope you enjoyed this top tip. Again, I'm Patrick Vallella, and we'll see you on future tips.